Hello and welcome back to uh, Me and Me, um, the worst uh, ABC family show since Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> I don't think Everybody Loves Raymond was even on ABC. I don't want to. <laughs> Hello, welcome. How are you doing? How's your day going? Um, so first off, okay, still still spouting this. Um, you can change your Jelly Neo site theme by going to site preferences still blown away by this um but we're gonna we're gonna do dailies and i'm gonna complain <laughs> i'm gonna complain a lot the whole time because something big has been going on behind the scenes um well i, I think i say it's big it, something headache <laughs> it's been going on okay okay oh that would have been helpful for the coinky dank i wonder if that's still expensive you think that's still expensive Maybe, maybe the price went down. So the Quink Dink was busted for a while and it was asking for the same three items. No, it deflated. Okay, cool, bitchin'. Um, so, okay, so I found out that there's a ton of Neopets games that like we don't really, I guess, have good access. Well, I say a ton, but like I'm talking specifically about one. <laughs> So, you know, like the leapfrog thing, right? I kind of talked about this before, um, where it's like the, like you touch it and it reads the word to you thing. Well, they obviously are trying to compete with like video game markets and PSPs and DSs and stuff like that back in the day. So they made like a bunch of newer ones that are pretty much like little handheld game consoles. They're, they they look pretty sick. <laughs> um, oh, what is this? Oh shit, we can vote for the shape? Um, I don't, I don't have a Facebook. I can't vote for it. Okay, well, somebody vote for the star for me. <laughs> I think the star is really sick. I don't feel like we have a lot of star avatars, do we? Well, I don't know, because if we do the star, then we can't see as much of the art on it. Somebody vote for the square for me. <laughs> I vote with the square. Okay, that's cool. That's cute. Okay, fun. Um, did we already look at Chombi Day? Uh, what, uh, what is up with this fucking stick? <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I feel like that's, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of weak. Um, sorry. This is cool. This is sick. Um, I do, I do like some of the wearables. It's very cute. It makes, it makes the chompies whole fit full circle. Anyway, not while we're here. Um, so yeah, so Leapfrog has been coming out here trying to capture that market, which makes sense because, oh yes, our emo dude, um, which makes sense because it's it's a big market and parents, I feel like, are more likely to lean towards those like, oh, I'll buy this game for you because it's educational rather than being like my mom who saw one news thing on the Sims Hot Day, the Sims can woohoo in it and then decided never to buy it for me. But I asked my dad to buy it and he bought it anyway because he didn't know. <laughs> as you do so i because because like that was kind of the same thing with the american girl dolls right like i never had one because you know poor but <laughs> i that was the thing with that because parents were like if i buy oh sick if i buy a barbie my daughter's gonna turn into like a jezebel or some shit and it's like what <laughs> what okay sure whatever because you know that's really how things work but apparently if you buy your kids an American Girl doll, your kid will turn into, I don't know, a nerd. <laughs> I I do like the American Girl dolls, actually. The I don't know about, I watch, I watch some YouTubers, um, which I, I can't think of their name right now, but highly, highly, highly suggest this person. I love how I'm about to recommend them and I can't remember the name, <laughs> but I watch the shit out of their stuff all the time and they talked about a lot of the American Girl doll stuff and it's it's just a mess but I'm I'm so here for it um nope don't want that um I've, I've been I've been skipping I've been skipping to try to get something good um but yeah uh, uh parents were like yeah I'll pay like five hundred dollars for this American Girl doll and like thirty dollars for a dress for it. it's like encroaching on like the Build-A-Bear territory right you know how Build-A-Bears are like really expensive for no reason don't like that but yeah, so anyway, <laughs> parents will buy shit like that for their kids because they're like, well, it's teaching them to be smart and stuff, which I mean, yeah, it is. It's better than like, I guess, getting like the Sims herbs for your kid, but also <laughs> you should get your kid the Sims herbs. They'll learn way more out of that than any leapfrog toy. So the, the long story longer. So I, I looked into it and there's actually on one leapfrog system, there is... I already told you about this like twice, but there's a Neopets game for the Leapfrog Digi. Okay, I got one. <laughs> 
I got one and I got this one for really cheap because it was pretty much bricked. Um, cause the way, so the way this leapfrog works and it makes sense for the time. Cause I think this came out in around like when I was like graduating high school. So like 2008, 2009 ish, somewhere around there. Um, oh, I don't want to do this. I'll try it. Um, <laughs> so it came out around that time period. And of course, everything then had to have some kind of like online connection, use our web portal and do all kinds of like cool stuff. And like that was kind of the gimmick for this one. So they wanted you to connect it to the computer so that you, your kid could like upload their progress and shit like that. Um, you could unlock things in your games. Like it's, ac it's actually kind of cool. Um, but the problem is, is this is old hardware, software <laughs> that no one has and no one uses or can use because it was linked up to like their online database that was closed in like 2018 or some shit. <laughs> so, so how am I supposed to use this nowadays? Well, people found a workaround that if you use either a, um, I don't think we can fish today. I'm going to skip it because I, I fished late yesterday. Um, if you use a, it has to be Windows 7 computer. I don't know why. I'm just trusting them because they're way smarter than me. If you use a Windows 7 computer that is not connected to the internet, or, you know, you could you could do a, a DOS box kind of thing, but you, you know what I mean. Um, <gasps> what? Are you kidding me? I did not just get that from the fucking magical. <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm gonna put that in the safety deposit box. <laughs> what the heck? I didn't know we could give that out. What's in this? Oh shit. Five to, five to seven of the following items. Okay, maybe we open this. I kind of want that birthday plumpy. I don't know, should I? Okay, I'm gonna think on it. I'm gonna think on it. <laughs> that that gambler in me is like, yeah, open it. <laughs> um, okay, okay, I'll, oh, okay, okay, let's hold on to it for a minute. Um, so anyway, this is not as fun. Um, so yeah, so you, you just hook it up to that. They had the, they had the like, the software that you could download. Okay, cool. All you gotta go in is like change a couple of things in the file and you can fix it. Cool, awesome, can do. So my husband has an old laptop that is a like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what what it is, but it's it's like one of those like gaming laptops. <laughs> But it's one of those gaming laptops from when like gaming laptops started to be like really popular. So it weighs as much as a house. <laughs> It's not that heavy, but like, God damn, that thing's chunky. <laughs> so I originally, we didn't, we didn't, we don't really use it anymore for anything. Um, when I modded my, oh yeah. Oh shit. I forgot to update you guys on stuff. I got the, um, um, the, uh, yeah, I did it. <laughs> I got the, I got the avatar from a uh, cheese roller. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. I had other stuff I was going to update you on. Um, oh, I was an employment agency and I bought this item for employment agency. And guess who took it? I fucking hate Kiko Lake. Oh my God, I hate Kiko. If we do Altador Cup this year and y'all are with Kiko Lake, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> we can't be friends. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I just hate Kiko Lake. All my homies hate Kiko and Kiko Lake. Um, also, oh yeah, we got a treasure chest to open. Okay, I need to remember that. I need to remember to do that. Okay, okay, um, okay. Yeah, somebody sent us a treasure chest. Isn't that so sweet? I don't, I don't want to like put your name on blast because I feel bad <laughs> doing that if you don't want me to. But thank you, thank you so much. I will gamble. <laughs> you know me. I'll gamble. I bet I'm gonna gamble that bag. It's calling to me. <laughs> I've got to gamble it. Um, but okay. So my husband has this big honking laptop and I originally used it to, uh, mod my Wii mini, which was a nightmare because if you, I'm just going to give you the, sh the short version of it, because I'll be honest, it's been like a while since I did that <laughs> and I don't remember all the stuff with it, but pretty much what you have to do to mod that thing is you have to like have Linux on a computer and then this person wrote a script 
that will like send out a certain signal through like a Bluetooth. You, I, I didn't say I knew everything was smart. <laughs> I could follow instructions for the most part. <laughs> so you like plug a USB Bluetooth out thing to your laptop or computer or whatever. And then whenever you put the Wii Mini into the pairing to look for a, like a new controller to pair to it, it's like the same signal that your computer's sending out. So that like tricks it. And then that's the way to get in to be able to upload the homebrew software. What a mess. How did you guys figure this out? <laughs> oh my gosh, that took, I did it while we were at the beach with uh, my husband's family, which is fine. I, I hate the beach. <laughs> So at least, at least I had something to do, but oh my gosh, what a mess. Anyway, not while we're here. Five years later, we'll all eventually get this story out. So I was like, okay, so we've got that computer. So I dual booted it with uh, Ubuntu and it already had Windows 7 on it. So I was like, okay, cool. So I went and grabbed that laptop. It, it wouldn't, it wouldn't boot into Windows 7 at all. <laughs> Anytime I tried to boot it up, period, it was having issues and it was like, oh, sorry, I can't boot up. I'm just gonna like self implode, <laughs> okay, bye. And then it just, it wouldn't boot into anything. I didn't know what was happening. I couldn't even get to the fucking BIOS. <laughs> I was like, what did I do to this computer? So finally I got into Ubuntu. I don't know how I did this, but I partitioned the hard drive five times. How? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I could see Windows 7 is still on there somewhere. It's still on there. So I deleted some of the partitions and I was like, okay, so I should be able to boot into it from now. No, 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 <laughs> no. It had so many other plans. So I, long story short, pretty much what it was is it was an issue in the bios where it, it just, it was trying to boot into this like safe mode. We, we all know. <laughs> We all know Windows in her save mode. It was trying to boot into this. And of course, because like, it's got this like super scary pirated fucking open sourced operating system on it that'll totally just light the computer on fire. It's like, no, I don't want to boot in that. <laughs> I'm not gonna boot into that. So it, it was having a whole thing. Finally, finally, I got it figured out. I had to reinstall Windows from a USB stick. The computer has a CD drive, but I don't have that Windows CD. So I got it on a USB and I got it set up properly to do it, but it still didn't want, it was a thing, it was a thing. Finally, I got Windows 7 back installed on it. Um, it now is, that computer is now b dual booted with Windows 7 and Windows 7, <laughs> but I can't access one of the Windows 7s still. Just don't ask, I'm still mad. <laughs> So I finally got it up. Uh, Windows is mad at me, yelling that it's, uh, I just, it, it doesn't matter. So we got it on there. So I was like, okay, cool. Finally, after this full day of dealing with this, I can finally come in here and put this stupid fucking leapfrog software on this computer. So I put the leapfrog software on there and it, uh, it, uh, it can't, it can't, it can't find my, it can't find my leapfrog device. <laughs> it just can't see it. I, it, so what it was doing is it was finding it. And then because it was like, oh, well, clearly you're hooking up more junk. That's going to like destroy me. Um, so it would find it and then it would immediately just kick it out. It would not stay connected to it because it thought it was like unsafe or some shit. So I had to sit there and I had to fool with that and I had to assign it. I, had to, I finally wanted to talk to it. I had to assign it its own drive so it would stop talking to me like that. <laughs> it was a whole thing. So I finally got it so it would talk to it. And then the instructions that I was reading for this just made me see. I. <laughs> It was fucking Chevelle seeing red all over again. <laughs> I just, I couldn't because what it wanted was it wanted me to go into program uh, data. I couldn't see program data because it was a hidden folder and I didn't know that hidden folders was on. <laughs> So I was just like bumbling around leapfrog town in these files for like 20 years, just getting so mad. So then eventually I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm, I'm, I'm employing, I'm employing the higher power. So, <laughs> so I went to my husband <laughs> and I was like, can you fucking help me please? And it took him two seconds to figure it out. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, Joe, I mean, Joe's really, 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 really smart with, like, computers and stuff. But I don't know. I feel bad bugging him with this shit. Like, I should be able to figure it out myself. Um, but I couldn't. <laughs> I gave up that one hard. And I was like, I just, I, I can't figure this out. And then he figured it out in two seconds. So, anyway, anyway, once we were Hacker Man, I'm in. Um apparently all you had to do so the reason that i got the system so cheap was that it required an update well obviously this this site isn't around anymore to be able to update it so i can't update it so to update it what you have to do is one you cannot connect the program to the internet because then the actual software will sit there and try to connect to the servers that just aren't there and it'll just get stuck in a loop and it's a mess so what you do is you instead go into the program files and you tell it, oh yeah, you're on version three. And it's like, oh, the, the, note, the notepad says version three, so we, we got to be on it, right? <laughs> Updated. <laughs> it's one of those, like, you see stuff from the outside and you're like, you know, this is really well put together. And then you see the spaghetti code. Looking at you, Neopets. <laughs> on the back end, and you're like, what the fuck is happening? Why is your house not on fire? What is going on here? Um, so that was hilarious. But <laughs> we did actually get it to work. Wow, we, it was Joe. Uh, Joe did get it to work. So it was able to actually boot up. And then I was able to put the game in, which was not a big task. But I, I'm i still part of this story, and I need to feel like I did something. <laughs> Uh, so I put the game in and I got it to run and first off, uh, well, you know, still first things first, I'm the realist, but second off the console that I bought was obviously a used one. Um, and it had like, I think, I think their name was Anna and Nathan. Um, it had their stuff on it. Well, they're like lame little fourth graders. So I deleted their stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's mine now. <laughs> So I can, um, but I wrote over, I don't remember the kid's name. I don't think it was a name because it was like, <laughs> it was like a bunch of letters <laughs> just shoved on there. And I was like, I don't think this is a real name. I think this kid made it up. Um, I, I kept his profile and I put my name over it because his avatar was this like weird naked tiger thing. <laughs> and it's got that like, why am I built to exist energy? <laughs> so, so I was like, I'm going to keep that so I can keep it as my avatar because I can't download any avatars for this. <laughs> So I started playing that game and um, it's one, it's, it's super easy. I mean, it's, it's a kid's game. The highest grade level I can get on it is eighth grade, um, which makes me feel great because, you know, if you know anything about public school in the South, uh, that's uh, <laughs> about as high as we get. <laughs> I'm kidding, but maybe not. <laughs> so, oh shit. What is this? Did I win the lottery? What? What's today's day? Today's the 25th. Did I win the lottery on the 23rd and not know it? What? Okay. Um. Okay, well, um, good job, me. <laughs> what? Okay, thanks. Okay, well, I, I, I haven't... I've, I've been doing the lottery every day and I haven't noticed. So um, just just keep playing the lottery. I didn't. Their emails must be busted because I've not been getting emails from the Neo Lodge. When you, I've won the lottery twice before. Um, I know Lux. Uh, I still can't, you know, pay my school tuition. This. It's fine. <laughs> I won Neo points on Neo pets. Who needs anything else in life? Um, so I, you get an email when you win the lottery. I've gotten it twice, but I didn't get it this time. So I'm assuming that it's still busted. Um, which sucks, but at least you can still win it. So that's good at least. That's good at least. Um, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> anyway, so I started playing the game and it's like, it's pretty much just teaching you like grammar and like proper like spelling and stuff like the difference between like or 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 and like um, fate and fate and stuff like that, you know, so it's teaching you stuff like that. Um, but it's, so it's hitting me in, if you know, you know, um, it's, like, it makes me feel like a very bare bones, watered down, like Pokemon mystery dungeon. Because you can play as either a Kachik, a Jub Jub, or a Uni. 
I played as a Kachik. I'm actually playing as two Kachiks because for some reason, just partway through the first level, they were like, oh, you can have a second Neopet. They didn't explain that I was making a second Neopet, so I thought the game crashed and I was making a new Neopet. <laughs> no, I'm just making a second one. So I made a second Kachik. <laughs> So my first one's a blue kachik named Taters, and then I made a yellow kachik named Ted, and then I decided I didn't like Ted as much as I like Taters, so I just kept playing as Taters. Um, it, they give you levels, I, I don't know why. <laughs> they so apparently you can you get like raised the stats the stats in it is you don't have health uh, because Neopia doesn't have health insurance, uh, but you have happiness uh, because happiness is free. <laughs> Uh, you have that, and then you have magic. Um, oh, for fuck's sake, just buy it. Um, so those are the two stats that you have, and it does raise them as you go up. Um, and the, the goal for the game is that fairies have fallen down from some evil magic, which seems, which seems like it's maybe related to this name on the case, but, you know, no spoilers, even though it's on the front of the case. <laughs> Um, so you, you pretty much have to go around and like save these fairies and how you save them is by solving basic grammar questions. <laughs> uh, you know, as you do typical, typical, I mean, it is, it's a, it's a leapfrog game for kids. Like what do you expect? But it's not hard. Um, my biggest complaint with it so far is your Neopet walks so abysmally slow and each so there's there's four different areas there's Mirrodale there's um I always want to call it Thunder Mountain why well, do I always want to call it Thunder Mountain it's not Thunder Mountain um snow where Snow Daddy lives um there's uh where where Tiki Tak Tambola guy lives and then there's Fairyland um which I can't tell if Fairyland is grounded or not in this one I don't think it is I think it's in the sky um but you can also go to a fairyland but yet fairyland is your hub i don't know i don't know um there's you can decorate with furniture that um that they give you um it's very limited like they have like set spaces for each furniture thing and you have like one of three choices that you can put there pretty much but so you can do that there's pet pets that you can make friends with um, and to make friends with them, you do grammar games. Um, but I love it when I make friends with the pet pets because it just literally like Thanos snap obliterates them. And it's like, oh, you're friends. They went to fairy haven. <laughs> now, being a kid's game, you would think I would focus more on the reading, but I didn't. <laughs> and for a while, I thought it was saying they went to fairy heaven. And I was like, y'all done fucking sent this pet pet to the damn farm in the sky. <laughs> just because just because i played a grammar game with it also the sentences are so fucking weird that they have you doing like some of my favorites are that leopard skin suit is so tight or <laughs> or lick your own ice cream <laughs> or we like to party <laughs> like what are these what are these don't feed the dog moldy fish sticks I'm not making these up. They're so weird. <laughs> I don't understand it. Again, it's a kid's game. I get it. But I also don't get it. Stop being so fucking weird. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. So you pretty much go around and do that. Uh, but the big reason that I'm talking about this game, fucking almost 30 minutes into you listening to me ramble on about it, <laughs> is you can get prize codes from it. Now, I was curious about the prize codes because I was like, okay, is this a situation like the Neopets Burger King bags? Because the Burger King bags in Canada each had just like one prize code for everything and that's kind of it. So if somebody took a picture of it and posted it online, um, you, could, you could just get the item yourself. You could just plug in that code and you're done. So, sick. Um, but I didn't think it worked that way because somebody else that I saw had posted that had just like posted their codes and stuff and i tried them and they didn't work but the site's still up here let me show it to you let me show it to you um okay so this is the actual like part on the site for it um i haven't gotten all the way through but but okay so this is what i've got so far you can see my codes chowder chowder or tritum, which you know what it is it's chowder time <laughs> this sounds like a threat <laughs> 
<laughs> I, so, okay, Chowder is still the tits amazing. Fucking love her. <laughs> So if you're not subscribed to Chowder, um, again, can't be, fr if you're not subscribed to Chowder, you support Kiko Lake. I cannot believe you. Okay, the Kiko Lakers are gone, good. <laughs> so um, she tried the codes and she said she couldn't redeem them, but I got the codes from playing the game and was able to redeem them, y'all y'all okay first off let me show you what i got let me show you what i got um so so you can get a site theme apparently i have i have one more level to go and i have to unscramble that to figure out who's behind all of this i haven't finished it yet i'm going to play the full thing i'll, I'll get to it in a second you'll see what's happening um but i'm spoiling some of it here because it's fucking nutty um okay where i can't remember the name of this thing um was it not this Oh, for fuck's sake. Now I don't remember the name of it. Here it is, here it is. Okay, so this was one of the things I got. Now these are all callbacks to items actually in the game itself, which is kind of cool. And it tells that you actually got this like from the game. So that's kind of sick. So I got this thing and it's not, it's worth a good amount, but it's not worth a ton. Um, it's worth less on Super Shop Wizard. It's because um, it's straight asshole. <laughs> So nobody wants to use it, which fair. Um, but then after that, after that, where is it? I got this. I got this. Again, tells that you got it from it. Again, call back to an item in the game. Okay, okay. How much is it worth? There's no price. There's no price. Uh-oh. Five million. For a fucking balloon! Oh my gosh! And then like I was trying to go around and see. I saw one one on trading post, one on auction, but neither had prices on it. So I was like, okay, okay. Um, and then one of the other items that I got. Where is it? Hang on, let me find it. <laughs> Keep being excited. Hey, this one, this one. Okay, again, call back to the item. We can see I got it from it. Cool. Okay. So, um, highly suggest, if you can, getting this game and playing it, because jeezy crazy. Um, I have not gotten the fourth item. I think, okay, I don't know, haven't tested it, but this is my, like, brain work and thinking. So, I think that all of the items that you get when you redeem it are the same. So, like, if somebody else got different codes but they still redeemed it they would still get the same items right like i don't i don't think i don't think the items are actually any different um because they're they're callbacks to items in the actual game itself which is why i'm thinking that like it's everybody probably gets the same ones but because it's been out of circulation for so long i mean nobody has them so just saying i'm not i'm not doing the queen getting day you got your damn mind um so okay so we're getting back into it though so what I found out, though, is there is a Leapfrog Explorer, which I think is the one right after the Digi. Um, the reason I bring this up is because in the actual game itself on the Digi, there's something called micro mods. Now, micro mods are something that you unlock as you play through the game. So you unlock like they're called something stupid, like bits, bats or something stupid. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll figure it out later. <laughs> That's a future me problem. So you get those kind of as you play the game and what you're supposed to do. Oh, am I out of money? Fuck. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go to the like online portal that I had a fucking time with Windows with. And you're supposed to go in there and show it. Hey, I did this. And then it's supposed to be like, oh, OK, sick. And then from there, you can get like little mods for the game, but micro mods for the game. See, it's all coming together. Uh, that's a really confusing way to explain it, but you know. <laughs> so pretty much you play the game and then you unlock points and then you hook up your digi to the computer and you can go on their online portal and unlock different things in the game. It's, it's smaller things like a theme, um, but the bigger issue is that there's little like pillars, little gold pillars with a star on it in some places that are just completely locked off until you unlock them through the micro mods. This online service doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I can't get access to these micro mods. So I was like, okay, cool. 
I wonder if I can go into the actual Digi's files on the on the Windows 7 computer because I saw when I was looking at the back end, I say this like I know what I'm talking about, you know I don't. <laughs> but I was looking at it and somebody uploaded 6,000, girl, I don't know about this today. Yeah, no, mm -mm. get bent, I'm not doing that. Um, so I, w I was looking at it and what the fuck is happening? What is happening today? Where did you come from? <sighs> All right then. Um, okay, well, luckily I have my uh, <laughs> luckily I have my tutorial account still up <laughs> on my other browser. So let's just use. I don't have premium on that one. I just have standard Shop Wizard, but still makes this easier. What is happening today? What is happening today? Um, okay. It, th again, this is your fault. I guess I do have to. Oh, now I gotta open that fucking bag because. Do you do you see what you've done? <laughs> you've given me too good of luck, and now I've gotta open this freaking bag. Okay, okay. I like how I get mad. And this is none of this is your fault. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's get rid of that because I I need I need my I need my spot bag. Okay, we good? Maybe. No. Okay. Anyway, so um, bitchin'. Okay, free level. Thank you. Thank Thank you. I, so I haven't, thank you. I haven't been doing my, I do still have some fairy fortune cookies, but I've still got a, um, what you call it? I've still got a fountain dip save that I'm saving up. So I kind of don't want to keep doing, cause I, cause I know the second, the second I'm like, okay, well, you know, they never give them out. So it's fine. And I've got one banked. There's no way I'm going to get one, right? I'm going to get like five. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not doing them right now. <laughs> I'm just not doing them right now. I'm going to save them for later. But anyway, anyway, so I thought because I found someone who uploaded the micro mods that I would be able to like go in to the actual files on my computer and like dump them there and maybe it'll think that I downloaded those or something. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I'm trying to I'm trying to trick it into thinking I downloaded this stuff when I didn't. Um it it didn't work. <laughs> It did not work at all. Uh, it was like, no, <laughs> not happening. So I was kind of irritated with that. So I was like, whatever, I'm just going to play the game for a while. I think I'm about 75% of the way through the game at this point. Um, so I've got like just a little bit more to go. But anyway, so I was looking around online to see if anybody has run into this issue. And one, nobody has, but fair. Who is looking for this anyway, except for me? in fucking 2024 of all things but two i saw somebody say that there's a leapfrog leapster explorer and it works with the digi games but because the software is different for it they went ahead and were like oh okay well you can't download these micro mods for this so we're just gonna put them on there for you and just open it up for you bitchin <laughs> So I was like, okay, that's fine. Then I'll get one of these consoles. That one was even fucking cheaper than this. So if you want to play the, if you want to play this one, I highly suggest it because the codes, this game's easy. It literally just takes time, but like, it's so easy. Like it is really easy. <laughs> you can do it. Trust me. But it, it's so easy and you get crazy items from it. You can get a sight theme from it and the codes still work in this day and age, which is just nuts to me. But if you get one of those consoles, the Explorer, then it'll just unlock all the micro mods for you. So parts of the actual game won't be like hidden from you, which you can still, I think you can complete the actual like bulk of the game without having the micro mods, but it locks some really annoying like side quests and stuff behind it because it's got like the, um, like a wheel of chance and stuff like that in it, but they lock some of them behind the micro mods. So you can't, you can't spin all the wheel of chances unless you unlock some of the micro mods. And then I don't, I don't have confirmed because I'm not playing this with a strategy guide because who in the hell is writing a strategy guide for this? <laughs> but I think that one of the side quests that I'm on is locked behind a micro mod because it's telling me to find a Roo that not, 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 not the sauce kind, um, a bloomer but it's telling me to find one. I cannot find this man anywhere. And I have his carrots rotting in my inventory. They're just driving me crazy. <laughs> so I, I really think that like, 
parts of the game are locked behind it, which makes sense because they would want to push you to use that because I think that they were probably gathering data with it, which would help them in turn for marketing and future things and stuff like that. But you know, that's just me tinfoil hatting out here. But yeah, so part of it's just locked behind that. So if you want to play it, d trust me, trust me, don't get this. Don't get the digi. <laughs> don't. I, I will come for you. Don't <laughs> get get the fucking explorer. And then the only issue is like the it's the con the game itself is like made for this system. So it's really easy to get in and out with the way that the slot is made for the Explorer. It's a little bit more difficult to get the game in and out, but it's still compatible. It still works and you can still get the game in and out. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. But I mean, how often do you really you don't need any other games in your life. OK, all you need is fucking Neopets <laughs> on the leapfrog. <laughs> so you're not going to take it out anyway. But yeah, highly suggest that because the uh, the Explorer is worlds cheaper than the Digi. Um, I'm wondering I'm wondering why I did see um, when I was searching for like information on the Explorer stuff. It seems like there's a ton of people that are modding them to just to just be like. Consoles, essentially. <laughs> doing that no no i know y'all told me to do my kitchen quest i ain't doing my kitchen quest today no not 38 oh well thank you but no <laughs> not doing it not doing it no no sorry sorry about it sorry about it not happening too much too much um so apparently a lot of people are buying those up and modding them but i think that the time that oops um the time that it came out it was a lot more like maybe marketed or bought a lot more or something because it seems like there's a lot more of them just out and about as opposed to the digi which i didn't see anywhere near as many for sale i mean most people probably don't know what it is it does say straight on it digi like right here but um some of these poor consoles <laughs> some of those poor consoles were run through the ringer they were beat all the hell so i wouldn't be surprised if like the name was like rubbed off or something like that but yeah no um anyway anyway so um off off of that ramp ramp sure um my rhino ramps um so oh freaky factory oh i want to do freaky factory okay okay i'm not good at this game <laughs> I'm not good at this game, but when I tell you that I played the crap out of this daily in the, it wasn't, so it wasn't computer lab. It was technically a shop class where we were supposed to like be building things, but our teacher was like 80 and I think he was dying just a little bit. <laughs> he did not want to deal with us. So he just set us all up at computers and he was like, look, as long as you're not looking at porn, I don't care. We'll build a car and race them eventually. I just don't feel like it ever. <laughs> so... I just played Neopets all the time. But anyway, anyway, um, I don't. OK, I'll just do it without instructions. I don't care. Um, oops. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got to click them. OK, um, no, get OK. Um, I'm going to try to talk and do this. What's the soap do? Um, get, out, get out of here. Um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to dual brain and I just I don't own that many brain cells. I don't know who I think I am. Uh, I don't know what this soap does. Um, okay. It must do something, right? Um, okay. Big blue. Um, I'm doing awful at this, y'all. This ain't good. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just all the internet judging me. Get out of here. Um, what does that do? Um, okay. Can I have this? Okay. But I kind of want some of these little toys, right? They're cute. <laughs> They're really cute and I want one. Um, okay. So yeah, I am gonna, after I do, um, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and send my score because I don't have enough brain cells to be doing this at the same time as talking to you. <laughs> I, so I am gonna do like a whole playthrough. I'm gonna do it on the other console because the screen, one, the issue, if you know anything about Tamagotchis, once there gets some scratches on the screen, it just looks like the screen's perpetually dirty. And for the most part, you can't see it most of the time, but when you can see it, it looks bad. And you can get some stuff to fill it in, but like, I don't think you can see how fucked up this poor screen is. It is fucked up. <laughs> that screen is just done. So um, the, the other one I've got coming, the screen looks a little bit better on it. So I feel like that would capture a little bit better because 
I'll be damned if I'm gonna solder a fucking capture card into this leapfrog handheld thing. Not happening. Sorry about it, but not happening. <laughs> So I'm just gonna like take my phone and, oh, I didn't open a tab for that, oops. I'm just gonna take my phone and like record it. And we'll do it that way. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, it'll be good enough. There is a lot of footage on the internet of playing this. So it's it's not like it's like completely lost media or anything like that, but I do wanna show it to you because the animations are actually really cute in it. Um, some of the, uh, <laughs> some of the neopets are a little bit scary in it because the poogles, one, don't look very cute and two are massive. I don't, I don't know what the canon like scale is for neopet size, but oh my God, they're so big and they're so scary and I don't like it, but I think my favorite one is the walkie. Um, you can't play as the walkie, which is upsetting, but their little like walk and like feet stomp that they do as they like walk and stand around is one of the cutest things I have ever seen. <laughs> I love it so, so, so much. So I definitely need you to see that. Um, I don't like Grundos. Um, sorry, Grandpa, but I don't like Grundos, but those Grundos are actually really cute. <laughs> Uh, one of them on Mystery Island has his dogs out straight in the sand, and I'm like, I don't know, he's kind of adorable. But yeah, so I'm I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you the gameplay. Don't worry about it. I want to get through Darkest Fairy first. Um, just you know, one thing at a time. Chill out a little bit. I don't want to do too much at once. But yeah, we need to finish Darkest Fairy, and then I'll fi I'll finish that. I don't know about how many hours of gameplay it'll have. I would like to try to 100% it, but. If I'm out here trying to be a completionist on a leapfrog game, like I probably need to calm my tits a little bit, you know? <laughs> That's a little much. So we'll see. I wanna get through the, the bigger story beats, which the biggest things in it is you have to rescue all of the different fairy types. So, and it, you can only rescue like one type at a time pretty much. Cause they're like, okay, well we taught you earth magic. Um, We're busy. <laughs> So go find all the earth fairies and heal all their asses. And then you can come back to us for a different type of magic. So you'll be going through these levels and seeing these other poor, miserable looking fairies. They're just sitting there on the ground, look like they're about to cry. And then your happy Neopets are just be bobbing beside them. And it's like, hey, sucks to be you, nerd. See you around. <laughs> And you do this multiple times because you go back to some places for like extra quests and stuff. Oh my gosh, it kills me. It kills me. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's pretty fun though. It's pretty fun. I haven't, like I said, I haven't completely finished the story, but we'll experience it. Don't worry. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, also, also stuff I'm stoked about. I'm still, okay, okay. You remember I was like sitting there bitching about the trading card game, right? That's what I do. <laughs> So me as a human, um, I, I feel like a lot of people do this. You you see like one thing and you develop op opinions on it before you know the whole story. Like I'm, I'm not saying that it's a good thing to do. It's just kind of what happens as a human. Like that's just kind of how human head work. <laughs> so I saw the first round of the trading cards and I was kind of like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I felt like they were kind of weak. Um, I was really irritated that they were all... Like they were all the same colors, but like it was the same art just recolored every time, you know? I was kind of irritated by that, but like, I don't know their team. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to, you know, be the best, whatever. Um, it, it's just kind of how it is. But they showed off. Um, so it's not Wednesday yet. So they're gonna have another live stream uh, and they're gonna drop another article, but they showed off some of the painted pets. Y'all, that ghost loop is sick as shit. Uh, also, Bobby's chair didn't squeak this time, and I was really upset about it. <laughs> I was really enjoying that last time. I <laughs> I hated that, but they it they rocked it with some of those. They were really good. They were really good. Um, I I hate Jub Jubs. I hate them with a passion. But that Jub Jub was a little cute. I'll, I'll give it credit. A little bit, just a little bit. Um, I do like the attention to detail because it was the starry one, and they put like a shooting star in its eye. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. But they, I feel like they did a really good job with the painted ones. And some of them have text because they need it and some of them don't. Uh, and I feel like the way they did it is a little bit more sensical because in the old trading card game, uh, again, I haven't played a lot of it, um, so I don't know a ton. So I'm the perfect person to talk on it, <laughs> knowing fucking nothing about it. But 
uh, it seems like every Neopet kind of does something a little bit different, like the special ones, not the normal ones, but like the special ones do something a little bit different. So even if you're a big Kukra head, like you're rocking an all Aisha deck because that's just, that's just who's stronger of what you have, you know? But this one, it seems more like they want to make it so that you can pretty much build a deck out of any of the Neopets you like without it being kind of shitty. So, um, speaking of shitty, I'm so over this. Okay, this motherfucker. <laughs> I zapped him day before yesterday, they zapped into Christmas. I zapped him today, they zapped into Split. I hate this. <laughs> you should be scared. Oh my gosh. Loses to defense. Okay, well, if anybody wants an awful quiggle, just hit me up, please. <laughs> please. Oh my gosh, I don't want to spend a morphing potion on it because I'm mad at it. Um, also, also, Frank 1 has died multiple times. I don't know what's up with the Pet Pet Labrae. I gave everybody little Frankies that I'm zapping, so I'm just out here zapping the Frankies. But, yeah, so, I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, the trading card. So like the fairies and the ghost ones have special. Ab <gasps> yes, yes. Okay, okay. I had a little bit of a spoiler because I saw Chowder's video on this, which again, you have to subscribe to Chowder or you support Kiko Lake. <laughs> I so I was excited about this, but oh man, yes, yes. Okay, that's one more down. That's one more down. So we got an avatar. We got a sight theme for the original sight, not the new sight. Um, okay, I'm gonna deal with that in a second. I don't want to deal with that right now. Um, but they so the fairy and the ghost have special abilities and then the um like the uh fire and the starry they don't have special abilities but they have boosted stats over just like a standard neopet so i feel like that makes sense um it makes it makes it a little bit cleaner so that you can kind of like see the art a lot better on the cards but it also just makes it makes it make sense and with the different like colors is like obviously not all neopets are going to be able to be painted ghost but a good majority of them can be so you can kind of pick and choose because the ghost abilities are the same across all of the cards it seems like so if i have a ghost loop or if i have a ghost i don't know aisha they didn't show a ghost aisha but i'm just making shit up now um so if i have both of those like their abilities are the same so it doesn't matter um, so I think that's really cool because then you can then you can build a deck of like what you want rather than being like, well, I'm kind of like shoehorned into this because I don't have a choice. So I do like that. I do like that aspect. Um, that's that's really sick. So, yeah, I'm 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 very excited about that now. Um, singing a different tune. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, humans be humans, though. And I mean, we it makes sense that they would start out with like kind of the weaker stuff, the basic stuff, and kind of work our way up to the bigger things as they're like getting hype up and like being like, yeah, you know, it's coming out soon. Like that makes sense. I get it. Um, any new stamps? No. Damn, everybody getting a good bag. Um, so yeah, that, that makes total sense, but I don't know. I can still be salty. <laughs> But I, I, I understand. I understand. I do like that they're reaching out to a bunch of different artists and stuff to do it. I think that's really cool because you get different art styles on the card. You get different like perspectives and stuff. It gives more people that like, I assume they like Neopets. I don't know anything about the artist. Uh, it gives them more of a chance to actually like work on projects with Neopets and stuff. So I think that's pretty sick. So yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, oh yeah, I need to clean up my image. I need to do all this. Okay, brain, focus. Hang on. Um, okay, so let. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see what everything is. Uh, Booksmarks. You feel as though you would know. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Okay. <laughs> We're not doing that. We're searching it. Um, okay. Uh, you will receive. Okay, this is the one Chowder took, and I think that's the one I'm gonna take too, because I did read Edmund the books. Um, but I think I'm gonna like go ham on books and just buy up a bunch of cheap books and do this to like blast his intelligence through the roost. Roost, sure. Um, I don't care about that. I don't want that. Um, what else do you have? Um, I think I've taken this before for something else, but I don't, I don't really care. Um, I don't really need that. Um, gives the ability mind blast. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, and then bank bribery. Where's that at? Um, eh, no, we're doing book smarts. Um, wait, I can only pick one, right? Choose a boon. Okay, okay, so I can only pick one. So we're doing that, right? That's right. Let me double check. Okay, yeah. 
and then um, we're doing that because this is worthless. Um, okay, cool. And then it'll sit there and load forever. <laughs> but it, it, when you refresh the page, it does work. Uh, see, look. Wow. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, okay. What? 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 what clean, cleaning the inventory. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. I need to. I need to. I need to gamble away all my neo gold tokens. Um, okay. I'm gonna read these books that I got in here to Edmund. I don't know what I have and have not read. Written. Read. <laughs> I don't know what words you've seen. Um, okay. Read that. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's sick. Okay. So I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do a quick stock with it. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of what's been going on in my head with like Neopets like stuff. And I know Windows 7 isn't Neopets related, but <laughs> I had to complain about it because I got so freaking mad at that. And I mean, like, I feel like that's just kind of how it goes once you start like screwing with tech in the way you shouldn't be screwing with it, right? <laughs> but oh my gosh it was really interesting though seeing kind of how those leapfrog things are held together because i don't know they look really fancy and cool on the outside but it's nothing too crazy <laughs> so that was pretty sick that was pretty sick to see it like kind of going into that mess but i don't know i uh, I, I think i think i uh kind of don't want to work on any other projects for a while <laughs> right now oh my gosh uh but yeah what are you getting into <laughs> what are you doing i i so i did the um i did actually get to play i didn't tell you about this um how could i it just happened um i did actually get to play a round of the you know the booster that i just unboxed like a few days ago <laughs> whenever i did that um so i did get to play that with my husband and it was actually pretty fun um it's a little confusing at first we did like the rules say and we played it with the map first, with the actual like booster deck that I like the two booster decks. I got stuck with the Mincy one because I was like, you can choose whichever. And then I got stuck with the Mincy one because I didn't see Mincy was in it. As you do. <laughs> Can't win them all. But um, but yeah, that was that was pretty cool. Uh, it was pretty fun. It's it's very interesting the strategy that you kind of want to go with with it. Um, I could definitely see how like building out your own deck and stuff would make it wild. So yeah it was, it was it was actually pretty fun highly suggest it wasn't like one of those like i'm gonna turn this into like my whole shtick kind of things like magic or anything is but it's pretty fun to be like guess what i got guys and like bust out even just the booster with your like friends it, i don't know it's pretty fun so highly suggest <laughs> again it is very confusing but highly suggest they do have it oh it's one of these days okay they do have it as a like download or something on tabletop simulator i don't really understand tabletop simulator because every time i go in there it's like i've never used an appendage before and i just go around and like start wrecking house and like slapping shit everywhere and just making a mess so i can't be trusted <laughs> uh but yeah we'll have to do that we'll have to look into that so highly suggest that i need to price everything in this show so i've been holding on to this like icy neg for a little bit because i got it a few days ago as a um trudy surprise which if you ever, ever, ever want to get on top of that, I highly, highly, highly suggest getting in the Discord because they'll, um, I think the person that does it the most is named Bean. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, they typically will send out a ping whenever like Tarla's in, talk about the prizes and you'll see if it's a main or a sides day. So main is when the main prize is good, like this ultra icy neg, which what is it even going for right now? Um, oh, I was at 340 last night. Dang. I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit. But, um, so that was like the main prize, but sometimes she's giving away kind of a shit prize. And then you want to try to go for like the sides instead, which is where you just like go for a chance at, I don't remember what it is, but I'll look it up. <laughs> I don't feel like looking it up right now. Um, also, also again, saw in Chowder's video and I saw this on Reddit last night. I installed the extension to do this. Um, I'm not a bitch, so we're doing hard. Uh, let's see what happens. Sorry, you didn't win anything. Damn. Okay. So apparently you can get like an avatar from this. Um, okay, so you can only do it once a day. Okay, cool. Okay, well then I guess we'll just do that. Every Coloring pages. Oh, I want to color. Oh, these are Kikos. Oh, I don't want to color anymore. This one's my favorite Kiko. <laughs> I don't want to color anymore. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's cool. That works. I was wondering if it would have any interference with other... Um, is this even worth anything? Other like extensions that I've got going on, but it doesn't seem like it's having any issues with anybody. So 
and it works just the same as the other. You just quickly install it. So um, I'll, put, I'll put a link below to it. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we need to open this chest up um, because we need to see. Do I open the bag? Yeah, yeah, I gamble it. I gamble it. Are you kidding? <laughs> We gotta, we gotta. Um, I'm holding on to these for posterity. Um, but I mean, I was given this. I have to gamble it, it's in my blood. Okay, which one do we first? Okay, let's do the chest first. Um, so let's see, what can we get from this chest? Um, oh yeah, that's right. So we can, we can get some good stuff. Like we could get a pirate Drake egg or we could get um, the fabled pirate hot dog. <laughs> we could get a pirate paintbrush. Um, it looks like for the most part, we can just get like, pirate souvenirs that are just like left over but you can get some stuff so let's check it out um me but mess you play with it because you're still miserable and i don't know why um anything good <sighs> that's not worth anything i know that's not worth anything it's for the neo home yeah busted damn okay well that's fine um so let's put that up uh okay okay are you guys ready this is a big moment <laughs> this is a big moment okay uh i'm gonna let edmund play with it not playing favorites, but playing favorites. <sighs> let's see what we get. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Let's look at it first. Hang on. Hang on. Keep that tension building. Um, okay, so it says it will give us five to seven of the following options. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve. And then that's like half-ish. <laughs> no, okay. Clearly I need to get math for my leapster. <laughs> But okay, okay. So I don't know. These all are these all are pretty good. The cheapest item looks like it's about eight thousand per Jelly Neo. So that's still not bad. At the end of the day, I got it for free. So let's gamble it. Let's gamble it. Um. Okay. Come on, Edmund. Give us something good. Give us something good. Uh. Yeah, they will. Okay. Okay. I want the. I want the. I want the cat. Damn! I didn't get the cat. Fuck. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. Um. How much is everything worth? I didn't want any of this. No items found? Really? What? How much is this worth? This is only 90,000. You are not even wearing pants. You're a fish. Oh my god. Um, are they on the trading post? Why is why is why is this not anywhere? What? Well, I don't want to be the only idiot pricing it. <sighs> okay, that's 14,000. I guess that's not bad. How much are you? 38. Okay, that's not bad. I don't know, this crown's kind of cute. Mm, not that cute. I'm selling it. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'll just sell everything. Um, I don't... I don't know what to do with them them pants. Um, I'll deal with that later. I don't want to deal with it right now. I just don't want to deal with it right now. I'll deal with it later. <laughs> don't want to deal with it. Um, I don't think there's any news from Jelly Neal. Let's check real fast, though. Um, no. Okay, same stuff. Um, okay, well, that's my hour-long talk on the digi and don't get the digi and get the neopets explorer <laughs> that's what we learned today um I'm, I'm really excited to play that for you it's again it's really simple it's just playing like basic games but the art is so cute and it's got a ton of neopets so the neopets i've seen um obviously you can play as a kachik a uni and a jub jub i've not seen a kachik or a uni in the world yet i'm not through the game about 75 percent um, I have seen one Jub Jub in the world, um, and he asked for that balloon that we got. Don't point. Um, and I've seen uh, Bruce. I've seen Bloomeroos. Bloomeroos are kind of scary, though, because you know how they're supposed to be, like, bouncing on their tails? Instead, they're just kind of, like, stagnant, and they're just, like, zooming. They're, like, fast. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Um, I've seen Walkies. Those are my favorite with their little stompy animation. Um, I've seen Kikos. Hate them. Um, I've seen... What else have I seen? Uh, now that I'm on the spot, I don't remember. They have Gnarboos in it. They have Gnarboos in it. And they look terrible. <laughs> they look awful. Uh, so yeah, it's got a lot of different Neopets and stuff. Um, it's got all the pet, like all the pet pets you can play, like not all of them, but it's got some, the most popular ones. Um, it's got those that you can play like games with, again, simple like grammar games. Uh, and then it's got, it's got pet pet pets in one of the games. They're like, mood tweaksy or whatever the billion dollar one or whatever uh so that's the only time i guess i'm gonna see that <laughs> but it's pretty fun so i'll definitely i'll definitely play it um and then we'll i'll show you about like doing the codes and all of that stuff uh but thank you thank you so much for hanging out with me so i'm excited we're uh, lots of stuff <laughs>
please talk to me. Um, I need to figure out how to end this better. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, live, laugh, Neopets. Bye. <laughs> Aha! I got you. You thought you were rid of me. Um, so... <laughs> Um, I, I got, I got this video all edited and everything, and then I cannot tell you how much shit hit the fan. Stuff is going on. Okay, so we need to talk about it. This is already gonna be late and out of date bars by the time this even goes up. Um, so just pretend like it's not. <laughs> Okay, so first off, um, we need to talk about everybody's going gray, everybody's going ghost in Neopia. So there's been a bunch of different shopkeepers that have gone gray. This one's my favorite. I love this little emo bread. <laughs> you can't. But everybody is going gray, it seems. So it looks like maybe it's only in Neopia Central at the moment. But I don't know. It could spread out from that. Maybe it's going to spread to Miradel or Morocco. I don't know. So that's exciting. So that's happening. I definitely think that's part of the plot um, because I don't know why the hell else would this be happening. But yeah, so that's a thing. Also, also another big news. So we already knew that they were going to swap out the NCUC um, styling studio stuff. So... They told us in a post that they were going to do Moroccan, Jelly, and Baby. Okay. Um, I, sure, I guess. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I know I do have like a baby Aisha, but I'm not a big baby head. Uh, that's an awful phrase. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a big fan of them. So I was just kind of like, meh, miss me. They lied. They lied. Well, they lied in a good way. <laughs> They brought plushy as well. So the way they did this, because only like a handful, like 12 or 16 or something, Neopets have a jelly form. So it's not like there were a lot of them around. Um, you couldn't get an NCUC jelly before because that was one that was like auto converted, I think. So this is like the only time you get to get it. But that's exciting. But that's actually going to be a permanent one. Kind of like how also Alien Ice is going to be a permanent one. Exciting. But like how Coconut Jub Jub is a permanent one. That's going to be a permanent one. But Plushy, Moroccan, and Baby are not. So real fast, um, I'm going to be lazy for when I'm editing this. <laughs> Because when I did this last time, it took forever because I had to like cut and zoom in and out on every single one. So I'm just going to like giant zoom in right here um, and we're going to see how that. Yeah, that, that looks good. That looks good. Um, I don't like the Akaras. <laughs> we're going through them all. Uh, I don't I don't like the Akaras. Um, not a fan. The Aishas, though. This is sick. I really like that they brought this. The plushy Aisha is very cute. I I think I, I, I might end up breaking down and getting that one um jelly bloomeroos okay um i'm i'm not i don't know i i, I don't like it <laughs> uh the bori wasn't this facing the other way or am i tripping i'm probably tripping i'm probably tripping um nah, the plushy one's not bad i like boris um oh, fucking big ass head <laughs> Oh no. Um I mean it's it's fine, I guess. I'm I'm not a big Bruce head either. Um why? I, okay. Okay. Um I'm not I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a buzz person either. Um so okay. Something with some of these though. So you can see the Chia only has one plushy one. So if this is the case, don't use the more expensive one. Just use the cheaper one. Because the way that one works is you get a chance of getting one of the colors that it has this one only has one color so you're guaranteed to get it so if you're wanting like the plushy chia use use the cheaper use the cheaper supply also everything's still on sale i don't know when the sale's ending but i don't know it's not as cheap as it was before but i, I don't know i don't know it says it's going on till like the end of time it's not i, I just don't know when um this one's not bad but again not a chombi fan um the the plushy Cybanny, Cybanny, sure. <laughs> the plushy Stein Bunny's pretty cute, but I hate. I just don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not a big baby fan. I'm not a big baby fan. Look how big his fucking eyes are. I hate it. I hate it. This one just looks like a shrimp, and it makes me sad because I. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna eat it, and it's kind of upsetting. Um, look how look how oh, look how fucking big this thing is. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I think I'm just not. 
I mean, even in real life, I detest children. So I can't, I don't know. Something small kind of like freaks me out, I guess. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. Not a fan. Um, plushy Eerie's cute. Baby Eerie is not cute, but plushy Eerie's cute. Uh, I really do like a lot of the plushy ones. That's terrifying. Um, I do like a lot of the plushy ones. This one looks like it's in trouble. What are you doing? Also, with the Moroccan, I'm a little confused because, like, I thought that they were already in a pose, but I don't know. I'll have to go look. I'll have to go look. Um, I'm a big Gnorbu stand, but I don't, I don't really stand those. Mm. Not a fan. Not a fan. This one's sick as shit. <laughs> that one's really sick. Um, any, any good toes out? Um, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I, th I think I'm just not the tar target gym 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 demographic. <laughs> sure. Um, I I don't like hissies, but I'll be damned if that's not cute. <laughs> um, okay, Ixie has a jelly form. I didn't know Ixie had a jelly form. Neat. Okay. This looks too much like the Galert for me. Mm, not a fan. Look how pissed off you are. You are literally like full of fluff. Don't even start with me, my man. Um, is there a plushy Jub Jub? stupid it's eyes look <laughs> i'll um again i don't like jub jubs so i'll ask my husband's opinion my husband to spite me now likes jub jubs so we're gonna get his take on it and we're gonna see um okay could cheeks have a jelly form neat this one looks like it's like slamming on its belly, right? Like it's playing it like a drum. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't really know about that. Um, I didn't know cows had a, a plushy form. That's cute. Um, I wish it was a different color because this is like this is the same colorway as dung, right? Mm, I don't know about that. I hate Kikos. Um, none of this is helping Kikos. <laughs> Let me get on here and just complain. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I promise I love Neopets. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, this one looks sad. This looks like a very used plushie that's busted, right? Mm, that one's kind of sad. That one's kind of upsetting me. I don't know about that. Um, look at that fucking forehead. Oh my God. You could do fucking abacus on that. I was trying to make a math joke, but I don't know enough math to make a math joke. <laughs> okay. Well, not a fan of that. Um, Oh, I don't have a Kugra. I think I'm going to get a Kugra. I really, I really like. Okay. Okay. I know. I know. I've done. Okay. <laughs> don't judge. I, I know I just sat here and complained about all of this, but, um, uh, I like, I like all of these. <laughs> I like all of these. The plushy one is too cute. Oh, it's too cute. I kind of like the jelly one too. Mm. Maybe I do get them. Maybe I do get them. Croc's still kind of scary. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, ugh, I don't like that. Um, why? Why does it look like you just came from like head surgery? Are you wearing a hat? Don't question it. Don't question it. Don't question it. Um, okay. Sure. <laughs> okay, so nothing for Lutaris. Interesting. Interesting. I guess that makes sense, but I don't know. That kind of sucks. This is horrifying. That Have you seen the actual, like, IRL plush version of this? It's scary. I hate it. Don't like that. Um, mm, oh, what happened here? Just what happened? This one looks like it's in, like, the Marilyn Monroe wind situation outside. I don't know about that. Um... Ew, Mincy's have a jelly form? What the fuck is this? <laughs> so gross. Okay, sure, whatever. Poogles are huge, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm still not a fan of Nemo's, sorry. Okay, so Ogrens don't have anything. That's interesting, I didn't know that. Um, this still looks kind of scary. I don't know what it is with like some of these, but they just look really scary to me. Um, okay, so you have a jelly poogle, and I like this one. I like this one a lot. 
This is like off brand in the like Kroger claw machine kind of plushie. <laughs> But then you see it and you feel bad because it's been there for like five months and you just want to take it home because you feel awful. So maybe I need a poogle too. Maybe I need a poogle. We're going to have to move some stuff around. Um, I mean, I guess this one's okay-ish. Not a fan. Not a fan. Um, okay, so you have a jelly form. Oh, look at those fucking feet. Oh, this is scary. That's awful. That looks like something out of Poppy's Playtime. Uh-uh. Don't start. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that I own a quiggle to the point that it's lighting up. Ugh. Um. Okay. I guess. I don't... <laughs> Again, not the target demographic. You look like somebody just beat you up. What is happening? Um. Sure, I guess. Those aren't bad, I guess. Um. Again. Big head. Not a fan. Um. Why do you have no mouth? I mean, mood, but <laughs> what's happening? This one's pretty cute. I do like the plushie. I do like the plushie version. Um, I don't know about skeets. I don't know about skeets. Okay, that one's kind of cute. That one's kind of cute. The rest of it, no. Mm -mm. You can keep that. I don't even have the receipt. I don't need that. Um, he looks like he just, <laughs> he looks like he said he just like got on stage for his first like stand up comedy performance, said the shittiest joke, and is just standing there waiting for everybody to laugh. What is this? I don't like this one much either. Mm, okay, okay. I like how I got on here and was like, man, all the plushies are great. And then now I'm like, I don't know. I don't like these. Hello, Tonu. Okay, well, Tonu's crashed the browser. <laughs> As you do. Um, I don't like this. This is hitting me in the like Jim and the Holograms, but like very off version of Jim and the Holograms. Mm. Again, scary. Why the button eyes? I just don't like the button eyes. This is cute. This is cute. Um, I don't know how, how I feel about the hair. The hair looks a little creamy. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, but okay. I didn't know you had a jelly form. Cute. Okay. Um, that the way that ears are flopped over makes me also feel like that's more of like a forgotten plushie. Oh, Vandegars don't have anything. That's I'm sad. I want this one. I'm getting this one. <laughs> We're getting this one. A hundred percent. I love that one so much. It's so cute. Um, don't like that. Um, okay. Yerbles. Eh. Uh, it's all right, I guess. I, uh, um, okay. Well, that's, uh, that's everything with that. So... I don't know how long they're going to be here. I'm assuming the way that they're doing this, it'll probably be here for a few more months. Uh, so you'll have time. But the supplies are on sale right now in the Neocash Mall. Um, yeah, see, like they're on sale right here. So I don't I don't know how long they're going to be on sale because they say they're on sale until the 2029. But th th that's that's a bold faced lie. <laughs> There ain't no way. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's also this new like retired backgrounds mystery capsule. And there was also like a spring dye works situation or something like that. So that's new. Also, um, I see you noticing my theme. I beat this. <laughs> So I finally beat uh, Quasara's Quest, and you do get this theme with it, so I'm going to use it because not as many people have it, and it makes me feel special. <laughs> but uh, it pretty much harkens back to, like, that the uni down there at the bottom uh, is one of, one of the, like, choices you can pick to play as, uh, and you'll see, like, some fairies and stuff. So if you're curious about this theme, it does not go extend to, like, the standard, like, new Neopets. It's only on old Neopets that you can have this theme. But so that's exciting. So if you see that, that's that. OK, OK, there's still more. I, I can't believe it. It's like a 1-800 special TV offer. OK, big news. <laughs> so they haven't done the live yet for this. It's going to be as I'm recording, it, it's going to be tomorrow. But they did drop some new um, some new stuff going on. I pulled up the wrong damn article. Fuck. <laughs> Hang on, let me find the right one. Okay, I found the right one. We can look at this one anyway, because it shows like how you kind of do the like paintbrush situation. Like you need to have that Neopet in your deck. You need to have the paintbrush and you need to have access to like 
the painted version. So that's that's pretty much how that's going to work. So these are all the paintbrushes we've seen. They did say that every single Neopet is going to have a rainbow variety. And the reason that the background is blank is because it's like holographic. And they said the holographic would show up a little bit better if the background was blank. So that's what's going on there. Um, but yeah, so that's that. But this is the new stuff that I'm excited about. I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit. I haven't even read this yet. Like this is uh, not centered. Okay, well, good enough. <laughs> so it looks like we're getting code stones. So three of nine. So there's going to be nine code stones in total. And it looks like they give you different, like, I'll just scroll up so you can see it. So it looks like they give you different, like, abilities. So, oh, that's cute. Look at the little Aisha. The art on these is really good. I really like the art on these. This is beautiful. Um, but yeah, it looks like they like boost different stats. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. I like that. I like that. Um, so it looks like they're also determined by the Neopets level. Huh? That's interesting. Oh, okay. So it's just like in Neopets where like, if you're lower level, then you're only going to need like one code stone to train. But if you're higher level, then you'll need more and stuff. Um, okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. It makes sense. I'm, I'm going to have to see how that kind of plays, but that's interesting. Uh, we got some equipment. Okay. Uh, like that. Um, I don't know enough about equipment to know if this is like a Neopets thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, but it looks cool. It looks pretty sick. Um, isn't that like J J Jared Dan or whatever his name is? It kind of looks like him. Um, but it, lo it looks like, yeah, they like boost your stats and stuff like that. So this one, you get one attack and one agility. This one, you get three defense. That makes sense. Oh, sick. Okay. So they've got Jadora's sword and the battle fairy sword. Um, I don't know why, but this hand is just hitting me so hard in the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> I don't know. It just looks just like it to me. Um, but that's interesting. So it looks like not only do these add things such as like attack or stuff like that. Uh, the only thing it says on this attack, <laughs> but they also do extra things. Huh? Interesting. Let's see. So weird. Okay. Okay. So they, they have abilities and they add things. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Okay. Okay. That's pretty fun. Um, so that's exciting. I'm, pre I'm pretty excited about that. I, I really can't get over the art on these code stones. This art is beautiful. I really like those. Um, and then last thing, last thing that we need to go over is Neo Pass. Neo Pass. Let's log in using Neo Pass. Nope. <laughs> They're not going to hire me for marketing. So this launched and they did say, um, let me find that information real fast. Hang on. Okay. So this is the email that I got. Um, so it looks like they're they're touting again that like it's going to be one login it's going to be safer um you can you can like keep your games synced up across like platforms i guess just from one save so that makes sense exclusive rewards so what's going on now is if you make a new neopets account you are forced into neopass if you have a neopets account now you are not necessarily forced into it you have the option to roll your account over to a neopass account but you're not being forced into it per se right now so it looks like though they're going to have giveaways and special events and all kinds of stuff so i'm assuming they're doing this and they're probably going to push it kind of hard in the beginning to make people roll over to do it um so i'm curious if there's going to be a time where they just like cut it off and they're like okay y'all you gotta get on the boat it's leaving <laughs> um it also looks like tales of jakarta they got some information about that i also noticed uh, because I, I read, uh, <laughs> they did say that soon you can change the email address that you signed up with. So that's good because like before, like what the hell am I going to do? Um, also you can link and unlink social media accounts. That's really good. That definitely needed to be a thing. Cause if I link my Facebook and then something happens on my Facebook, I can't log into my Neopass anymore. Like what? So that that's good. That makes sense. Um, so pretty much what's going on is a lot of people are seeing it right now and they're not signing up for it. They're going to wait a little bit. That's completely understandable. Uh, I'm a gambling man. <laughs> We're going to sign up for this together. Obviously, I'm going to like blur out my information. Um, probably with like dumb Neopets pictures. <laughs> but I... 
I don't want you to have my information, but I want you to see the sign in process and to see what it looks like going from like a standard Neopets account to a Neopass account. That way you can decide, okay, I do want to do this or no, I don't want to do it because at the end of the day, I personally just don't care. <laughs> As long as I can play, I don't care. So, and I don't have too much tied up in like, I have one other account and I just use it for tutorials. If I lose it, I lose it. Eh, oh well. <laughs> so I'm not too upset about that. So let's go ahead. Um, I'll have this link down below, but there's a sign up button right here. So let's go ahead. So I'm gonna put my birthday in. Again, you can't know my birthday because I don't want you sending me gifts. Um, so, but let's look at, let's look at all this before I cover it up. So you do need to verify your age. Um, the reason that they want you to do this is uh, if you're a kid, you better ask your parents because we all did that. <laughs> the, the biggest difference here is there's a kid's account and there's an adult account. So the kid's account is going to have like limited access and like parental controls and stuff like that. But the adult account is just going to be like normal adult stuff. I think it was 13 um, was the like adult age, uh, which is wild. Never seen that at the liquor store. But <laughs> so that's that's the big verify your age thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in um, and you're going to look at this great picture um, of this dead ass Chia. <laughs> Love her. Um, OK, so now we actually need to go in and put our stuff in. So uh, I zoomed in so you can see it. So you enter your email address here and then you enter whatever you want your password to be. Um, it looks like it has just standard things on passwords. So you want this many characters, use symbols, and don't use password one, two, three, um, and then do your password again and then agree with the terms of service. So I'll do this real fast and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all my information in, so I'm gonna hit sign up. And then it wants me to verify it. So it says that they sent my email a verification code. So let me see if I got it. Yep. OK, so I did get it. Uh, this is what the code looks like. I'm blurring out the code just in case, um, but it looks like it's only good for 10 minutes. Some people were having issues with getting this email, so I did get it. So let me put this in real fast. OK, so I put my code in, so I'm going to hit continue. OK, and it looks like I've already OK, my account's been created. Cool. So let's continue. <sighs> All right. Um, I didn't <laughs> I wasn't really prepared for this, but Jake's kind of hot. God damn it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? No, Jake, you're going to get a body pillow made of you. OK, OK, so this is our welcome screen. So it says, welcome, Neopian. I'm Jake, fellow adventurer, famed explorer, according to some. Who? and story traveler as someone who has seen his fair share of the wonders that Neopia has to offer. Let me be the first to say that I am so excited that you have signed up for your shiny new Neopass. Can I have it or are you just going to hoard it over me? Let me tell you about some of the ways that your Neopass can help you navigate your own Neopian journey. All right. Um, so this is my dashboard. Uh, this is your profile dashboard, the new starting point for your travels. Here you'll find the gateway to Neopets.com and all your other favorite Neopets games. All right, but Fairy's Hope is busted. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, this is good old launch game. Ready to jump right into the action? Click the launch game button to start playing Neopets. All right, I'll do that in a second. Um, okay, settings. Uh, this, this is my settings page. Click here to access the settings page. Your settings page is the best place to check and change your account settings. Every true adventurer has to start somewhere, but I already did it. Uh, keep your account secure. Now that we have ventured to the settings page, you can check out all the cool options to customize your account. I recommend setting up two-factor authentication, two of, and security questions to keep your account secure. After all, you wouldn't want you wouldn't wander into the wilds of Mystery Island without getting uh, words, without getting equipped with the right safety gear. I didn't say I was great at reading, okay? <laughs> I'm just here to read it to you. Uh, I like this thumb up. I like this thumb up. I want to keep this. Hang on, I'm taking a screenshot of this thumb up. This is good. <laughs> I love this. Okay, cute. Okay. You're all set to start your journey. If you ever need a helping hand or have any questions, don't worry. The fine experts at Neopass have your back. 
If you're ever lost or in your neopian travels and need help, you can reach out for guidance at the Help Center or check the FAQ section for any extra information you might need. Remember that the real adventure and reward is in the journey itself. What is this, a weight loss program? Come on, my man. Now get out there and start exploring Neopia. Happy travels and safe journeys, fellow Neopians. Here it is. Here's my account. Everybody wave to it. <laughs> um, okay, so it has my email address. Love that. Um, and then it looks like it has Neopets. Okay, so it has Neopets.com. So this is like the standard Neopets. It says add account, so we'll do that here in a second. Um, and then Fairies Hope. Worlds of Dragonia ain't here. Mm, mm. And then World of Neopets. This is what I'm curious about. I'm very curious what this World of Neopets situation is. Is it going to be like Animal Crossing? Is it going to be like Second Life? Is this like fucking RuneScape? What is this? <laughs> so I want to know more about this. I'm very curious. Um, weird. So they've got Island Builders still listed down here. What happens if I go to it? What does this take me to? So this is still where they're trying to get people to sign up for the closed beta. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, it looks like you can find out more information here. Um, I'll go through all this stuff real fast. Hang on. Ugh. Okay, so I started clicking through some of this and it's actually kind of interesting. So I'm gonna go on I'm gonna go on a tour with you so that we can see all this. Um, so we're gonna look under games first to everything. Um, so the world of Neopets one, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I hope the art doesn't look like this. This seems awful. Um, this is pretty much the same things that the others say. Um, you can sign up for their newsletter if you want. And that's pretty much all we've got on the world of Neopets. Um, so it's not looking great y'all. <laughs> Um, and then after that is Fairy's Hope, which if you don't know what Fairy's Hope is, it's pretty much a match three game. Um, but it does have a lot of lore in it, surprisingly. So like this girl right here, okay, you can name her what you want, but I forgot her name. Um, so this girl right here, she pretty much woke up from like a 10 year coma. She was chilling in a crystal and now she's trying to rebuild. What the fuck did they do to you, Fiora? Okay. She looks like Nika-chan. All right. Um, just so, <laughs> so she's rebuilding um, Fairyland uh, up in the sky, and she's got like a little little posse with her. Um, so yeah, it, it's fun. Um, it's under construction right now. Look how cute this is. Look how cute this is. It's under construction right now because they're updating everything to work with Neopass. So it's not up just yet, but it should be up soon. Um, who are you? This is not safe to just roll around on what? Who, who are you? Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's Fairy's Hope. Um, if you click on Neopets, it takes you here. So what's interesting though, is you can still log in the normal way, or it says have a Neopass, log in with Neopass. We'll look at it in a second. Don't worry. We're going to go through everything else. Um, gross. Um, okay. So in this is Island Builders. This is the same thing. So they they are rebranding this to like Legends of Jakarta or something like that. So I don't know anything about that. There's no other information. It's just they had this down here. I did get into the closed beta for it. It was all right, but I don't think it's something that I'm actually going to like go back and play or anything. So eh, eh. Uh, I'm going to swap over to others real fast because there's only two over here uh, and I'm lazy and I don't like dealing with things. So I'll deal with all of this in a second. <laughs> but what I think, okay, you're driving me crazy. Um, okay, what I think is interesting is this news and update, update section. So this is just the standard news and update from like the normal neopets.com portal, but it doesn't have the same news as the other neopets page, but it's still got like some news, right? But the last news was from March 1st. Why didn't you talk about Neopass rolling out for everybody? Why didn't you post that? So I don't I don't know how much they're actually going to use this news section because we can see that there's not a lot of news and we're like a quarter of a way through the year. <laughs> and so far we've gotten what eight articles and two of them are pretty much the same. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious to see how this news is actually going to flesh out. Um, we can we can go back and see. Oh, OK, bye. Um, we can go back and see like older news and stuff. So it looks like they have utilized this space for a while at this point. But 
I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll have to see. What is this? Neopian Health and Wellness? What? 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 Uh, okay. So this is, okay, this is hitting me in the Neopian times, right? Because, like, there's, like, this random article telling you about how to take care of your sick Neopet. That feels like something that would be on the Neopian times. I don't know. I don't know. So the other one is the new Neopets shop. So the Neopets shop that was on, if you go to Neopets, you can go over here to shops and hit merchandise. And then when you go here, there's like all of this stuff. These are the people that they merchandise with, but they actually have a merch shop as well. It does redirect here now. So it used to not, they had a shop with somebody else and I never bought anything from it personally, but the selection wasn't great. It kind of hit me into like Zazzle or Redbubble. And I, mm, apparently some of the quality was not great on it either. Uh, so it, it does look like that they're updating the new shop and they're going to have new things. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, but let's, uh, let's, 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 let's look at all this. Um, this is a lot of stuff. I'm going to kind of like skim over it. Um, I can link all this below, but it's like, I feel like it's too much. <laughs> so if you want any articles, let me know, but, um, I'm just going to skim over it. So this is talking about the Neopets team themselves. Um, I feel like this is a very, you have to have it kind of corporate page. Um, it says they're hiring Neopets. I have applied. Please hire me. I love Neopets. I can do all kinds of stuff, <laughs> please. Um, so they do have job openings. I think, where does this link? Let's see. Okay. It looks like this links to their LinkedIn, which I guess makes sense. Um, but they have really weird positions open right now. Um, so that's interesting. So that just links straight to their LinkedIn. Okay. Okay. But I mean, this, this is just the same, like corporate stuff that every company page is going to have when you click on the about us. It's just cuter because it's got Neopets art, right? And Illison's about to take out the whole team with this one arrow. Girl chill. Um, and then after that is the community ambassador program. I haven't kept up. Why does your face look different in every single picture of you? Get it together. Um, so I haven't, I, I know there's a bunch of drama going on with that, but I don't know about any of it. <laughs> I keep out of that kind of drama because I just, I just, I don't, I barely have the capacity to like not burn a grilled cheese sometimes in the morning. Like I, I can't keep up with that. <laughs> so I know there's a lot of stuff over that. Um, there are some FAQs here and then they are talking about, uh, some of the current ambassadors so there is a link um so that you can actually send them neo mails so this links to their like so your neo mail message so if you click it you can send them a neo mail um i'll go ahead and oh well i was about to say i'll show you but i have to log in um so this is talking about them and what they're actually like their focus is um it looks like they're doing more and you still can apply where does this take us if we hit apply um okay it takes you to a google doc that's not currently open okay so that's interesting um all right, that takes us there. Um, you should be able to get to all of this too if you just go to the like neopets.com site. Like this is this is all on this, but I don't know. I feel like all of this is kind of intertwined in it because they want people to use their site more. So also this is sick. This is really cool. I don't know if you've seen this, but like they have all of this stuff on here that talks about like some of the fairies. <laughs> shit on Meg Fairy. Uh, so it talks about like some of the, the big players. Um, don't see Daddy Cass as a hero. Just saying. Um, but it, it talks about some of the like big ones. Where's King Colton? Oh, come on, man. Um, so it talks about like some of some of the like bigger players on Neopets and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. I like that they're trying to show off some of that. Um, it also has a little timeline here, which is so cute. This is very cute. I love this. Um, I have this game. We're playing this game. Yes. Um, does it have all of their other stuff that they've made as well? Or is this just covering like bigger plots? Girl, why are you going to have her here and not put her in the thing? Um, no, it looks like they're not covering all of the beats. Um, that's still interesting. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's that. So this is their current like merch that they've got. Where does this take us? Okay, so that's interesting. Um, this was an item that was available in their specific Neopets shop, but it's not anymore. 
Um, that's not either. Um, the cookbook takes us to Amazon. Okay, makes sense. Uh, and then this one takes us to Geekify, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Um, if I hit see more, okay, it takes me here. Okay, just curious. Uh, let's close out all of these. Um, okay, and then this is explaining what Neopets is, um, which is interesting, but I feel like, who is this page for? <laughs> That's what I want to know, because if you're already playing Neopets, I don't feel like you're going to read this. If you're new to Neopets, I don't feel like you're going to read this. So I it's interesting. It makes sense to have it on here, but I don't know. It seems kind of odd, right? Where are all the Neopets? Like, these are just the fairy Neopets. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, so this is bigger though. This is about Neo Pass. Uh, again, I'm not gonna like go over everything. I'm just going over like the bigger beats of it. Can I click on these? What does it do if I click on these? Oh, it just makes them bigger. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, that's nice side design. That looks good. I don't know who did this, but you did good. So it just talks about like ways that it can make things better for you, like Neo Pass exclusives and exclusive access to. Daddy Altador, what's happening here, y'all? Y'all need help with that image? <laughs> um, so yeah, and then we can go to the FAQ again. I'm not going into all that. This art's pretty cute though. Um, so that's all that. Um, okay, so under Explore Neopia, we've got the Neopets. Interesting. Um, how do we feel about the colors? Because I know some people feel very strongly about canon colors. Like I don't feel like a loop is canon yellow. Right? Galarts are canon yellow to me. But why is he green? Come on, Neopets. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much, but uh, I'm still a little hurt on the inside. But it's it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll accept my red walkie. As you do. Uh, but that's pretty cute. I, I do like that. Um, I don't know if everybody's here. I, I can't be. Oh, come on. You use the grossest color for the Gnor booze. Um, it's really cool that they show like the different lands and stuff. I do like this on the website. Um, and then they have the fairies and stuff again. Um, they do have this contact us area, which I'm assuming is just whatever you want to contact them about, contact them here. Um, okay. So that's, that's everything. Yeah. This is a partner with us kind of thing. Okay. So let's go back up. Okay. Um, what does this do? Okay. That takes us to the homepage. Um, so let's go to settings. That was a really cute loading screen. Okay. So it looks like we can select our gender. Uh, there's three options. Um, I'll put that. We can select our region. I'm in the United States. I can select my state. Huh, weird. They don't have panicked in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm in Tennessee. Okay, so uh, it looks like we can set up our two-factor authentication. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Um, and then we'll see kind of how that goes. Oh, it opened it in, in a separate window. Um, you can't see the separate window, but it's asking me to enter my password. Uh, so give me a second. Okay. So I entered my password and then it said account verified successfully. And then it closed that. Okay. I have an authenticator app. Okay. I'm going to blur all this out. I'm sorry. I love you, but I don't love you that much. <laughs> uh, okay. So it's one of those where you can just take a picture. Okay. So give me a second. Okay. So I got that activated. So what I was curious with that with is I have two factor authentication on both my regular Neopets.com account and now on this. So it put this under Neopass, not Neopets. So if you have authentication, two factor authentication already on it, just to let you know, that's kind of what it'll do. Okay, got that done. Uh, and then it's green to show us that it is. Um, Okay, so you can deactivate your account. Don't want to do that. You have to wait a certain period before you can delete your account anyway. So um, so we can set up security questions. So what street did you go? Oops, your mother's maiden name, name of your first pet, favorite food, first job, childhood best friend. These look like the standard ones. Your favorite cartoon, video game, dream job. Okay, so then I'll, get, I'll set these up real fast. Okay, so I submitted it and now it says this. Um, and it looks like it hides it. So I put, I chose two questions and I put my answers in and it says they're enabled. So if I click to change them, I can't actually see the answers. I can just click to change them. So that's interesting. Um, let's see what else there is in here. Okay. It looks like that's pretty much it. 
<laughs> that's pretty much it that's in here. So let's go ahead and add our Neopets account. Um, so there's two different options. So you can use an existing account or you can create a new one. I'm going to go ahead and use my main account and I'm going to link my side account. We're going to see how both of these go. So I want to use my existing account. Okay, so do I just log in with my regular one or do I log in with Neopass? What happens if I log in with Neopass? Use my existing account. Okay, so you have to log in. Okay, okay, well, give me a second. Okay, so that was a little annoying. <laughs> So I have to factor authentication already on my other account. So I had to log in like I'm normally like logging in um, and do my two factor authentication for my standard account to be able to link it to this Neopass account, if that makes sense. Um, but it has here, I'm blurring it out because my email is right there, but it has my email address for my whole Neopass account and then my actual game account, which is Rini Linux. Um, and then it's talking about how great it is. So let's go ahead and migrate it. Hooray, we did it. <laughs> so it looks like it says it did it. So let's hit continue and see what it does. Okay, so it shows this. So if I wanna add another one though, edit. Okay, add account. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and add my second account. So add account, existing account. Uh, I'm currently logged in as Rini. So I'll have to temporarily log out. Okay, that's fine, I can do that. Okay, so let me log into my other account. Okay, same thing. Whenever I logged into this account, I had to use my old two-factor authentication for that account still to log in. So it was just like I was normally logging in, but now it's telling me I'm back on this page where it's wanting me to migrate my account. So let's go ahead and migrate my account. We did it, hooray. Um, okay, so both of them are here now. So it looks like since this one's grayed out, um, that's the one I'm currently on. So what happens if I click launch? How do I switch between them? Let's see. Okay, so I clicked launch. So it looks like you can just click either one. So let's see how quickly I can swap between these. So let's go to my main account. Okay, I'm here, cute, love that. But let's go back. Okay, and now I wanna log into my side account. Okay, cute. Okay, that's pretty fast. <laughs> that's kind of nice. Um, I've only got the two accounts. So these are the only two accounts that I have, but I don't know, that's kind of nice. That's pretty quick. Uh, so that's kind of nice. I don't want to be on my side account though. <laughs> I want to be on my main account, let's go. Um, okay, that's, that's nice, that's nice. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. So if I'm like on Neopets normally, is everything normal? Let's see, let's go to my settings. Okay, so this is my account page. Um, so this is where it's gonna look different from your standard account. So it looks like if you wanna update pretty much anything, it says you have to go to the Neopass portal. So if I hit down here, update account information, okay, it pops up the same like other window asking me if it's me to like log in and take me to Neopass. So once you link your account, it pretty much shoehorns you into going to the Neopass portal. Uh, so that's interesting. I also noticed, um, because I haven't been getting any of my emails for the Neo Lodge. I don't know about you, but I'm not getting any of my emails. Everything was unchecked, everything. So if you want emails, you might have to come in here and like click receive all again, because none of this was checked and I didn't uncheck it. I still want these, I need these. <laughs> My poor fucking Neopets. So if you still wanna receive those, you might need to check that. Um, but okay, interesting. Okay, so after I signed up, I, I don't know if you're curious about this, but I am getting emails telling me that I did sign up for two-factor authentication, um, that I my security questions were changed, it welcomed me and told me that, you know, here's here's your account. We recommend doing the security questions and the two-factor authentication. And then I got two emails because I used the same email address um, for, like, my account um, thing, obviously, for the Neopass. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So since I used the one email address for my Neopass, I got two emails telling me that my accounts were linked to it. Um, it doesn't say on the email, like it's just a standard email. I don't see either of my account names here. Uh, but just to let you know, it, it is sending me emails updating me. So that's interesting. So I'm back again, again. <laughs> I know, right? Wild. So I noticed, and other people in the subreddit have been sounding off about this, 
There are some issues with Neopass and Premium. So I'm sure you're like, why, 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 why are you showing me the premium page? I don't, I don't care about this. Well, that's because I have premium um, and I got redirected here after trying to go to my premium. So let's, let's walk through this together. Let's walk through this together. Um, ignore this. Um, so let's let's go to premium and then let's go to settings. OK, well, um, I, I tried logging in with this and I couldn't log in here, uh, but I have a Neopass. So let's let's use Neopass. Okay, yeah, I've got I've got premium on my on my main account, so let's let's continue. Um, it's it's loading. He's trying his best. Uh, he looks. I don't know about the shorty. He looks a little. He don't look as plump as I feel like he should, right? Not the point. Not the point. <laughs> it uh, it, it's very much taking a long time for it to connect. But weird. Why am I here? Subscribe now. What? I'm already subscribed. You can see I'm right here at the top. <laughs> What? Okay, so I started playing around with it more, and if you click subscribe now, even though I'm, I'm already logged in with my account that has my plan active, and then I choose a plan, it's like, oh, <laughs> lol, you've already got a membership, silly, click here. So when you do that, it will actually take you to where you can manage your subscription. But why do I have to go through all this? I still have to do this again. So let's log back in with Neopass. Yes, this account. This is a lot of doors. This is more doors than the door aisle at Home Depot. What is this? <laughs> this should be set up a little, a little bit better. I'm also not sure why it's taking so long to connect to the host when it's loading here. Um, okay. Well, I said this, but it let me do it last time. Okay, subscribe now. Choose the plan. Click here. Come on. I believe in you, Neopets. You can do this. Or not. You know, it's it's fine. <laughs> it did let me do this once, so clearly there's issues. There we go. Okay, so now you can see I am able to actually manage it. So I can come in here and either cancel my membership or change my payment source. If you click change payment source, it just pops up. It doesn't show your current one. Um, it just pops up this and then you can save the new card info. If you click on cancel membership, it takes it again a little while to load. I'm assuming it's two different sources trying to connect at, at the same time. But you it's, it's just the same thing. You select your reason, feedback, and then you can just continue. Obviously, I'm not going to because I love Neopets. <laughs> But um, seventh Neopet, that sounds like the seventh hour. That's kind of haunted. Um, so you can manage your your plan. It's just such a pain in the ass. I haven't actually canceled because obviously I don't want to. But yeah, you can do it. It just sucks. All right. Another big issue with Neopass has been getting to the URL where you can redeem your Neo Cash cards. So anytime anybody's been trying to get to the URL where you can actually come here and enter these cards and redeem them, it, it just keeps kicking them back to the premium portal that we were seeing. But this user on Discord explained it like this. It's, it's a little confusing. <laughs> so pretty much what I ended up doing is it keeps kicking me back to the actual like let's let's go there real fast um the actual premium like page it's it, the, the site's loading really slow <laughs> so it keeps kicking me back here so if you look at the url at the top it says secure.nc.neopets.com forward slash membership if you click on membership and replace that with redeem nc so i'm going to do that now for you and it, it took a very, very, very long time to load the first time. It like it took at least a minute, <laughs> but it did let me come here. I don't have any Neocache cards to actually test this uh, to show you like if it works or not, but I was able to use that workaround. So thank you so, so much. Awesome person on the Discord. <laughs> Um, I, I colored out their name in their picture just because I, I didn't ask them if I could put them in the video. And that seems kind of rude to just put them on blast. But yes, thank you so much. So there is, it seems like a workaround, but I don't have a Neo Cash card to test this. I was also very curious um, about the, the email address that changed thing. They said it should be up sometime in June. 
So for right now, if you transfer over to Neopass, you're kind of stuck with your email until June. Um, so some people are holding off about that. I did see some people were talking about where there's a stipulation that says if you haven't logged into your account for 18 months, Neopets does reserve the right to completely delete your account, everything on it, your Neopets and everything like that, um, because you haven't logged in and they don't need to send you any warning for this. Now, from what I'm seeing, it looks like this has been a stipulation in Neopets actual like rules or whatever you call it for a while and they don't really adhere to it so it doesn't seem like it's a neopass exclusive but now people are wondering huh if i if you delete one of my neopass pets accounts on my neopass does it delete all of them or just that one what happens what if one of my accounts gets frozen do you get rid of all of them? So, um, I think based on something I saw in the FAQ, I'll look it up, that if it, it's kind of a Christmas light situation. <laughs> so, if one goes down, they all go down. Um, but, I mean, there's not been anything that I've seen so far confirming or denying this. Again, I feel like everybody's just kind of found this 18 months frozen thing and they're freaking out about it now. But, like, I think it's been there for a hot minute and Neopets ain't really done nothing with it. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm taking it with like at least a shaker full of salt. Um, I also, I do feel like with the Neopass stuff that it, it was rolled out pretty quickly. It hasn't been in beta for very long and they just kind of rolled it out. <laughs> and I feel like this is the exact same as the beta version. I wasn't in the beta, but it feels the same. You know, so I don't know what's up with that. But one thing I am curious about. So because I have a Neopass account and I have a regular account, um, I should be able to still send pets back and forth. I don't know if I can, um, but we're going to see because I'm curious. Uh, I, don't, I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's going to change at all, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I don't know how else to get to the pound. <laughs> quickly so we're going this way um oh somebody somebody took this one i think dang it okay well um that, just take me to the pound i don't want these neo I, I just i just want i just want these neo pets i just want the pound please please take me to the pound oh my god this is not good um I, can i get to the pound here <laughs> oh here it is okay let's just do this <laughs> Um, okay, transfer. So I'm going to transfer a Neopet from my main account to my side account, and I'm going to see how that goes. So let's go ahead and transfer you. Um, so it, it popped up a second window here that you can't see asking me who I want to transfer this to. Um, I'm not friends with my side account. Uh, oops. <laughs> so let's just uh, let's just type it in. Um, okay, so I transferred in my side account. Uh, Okay. Oh, I don't have that much money. Fuck. Um, I haven't done my dailies yet either, so I need to collect my interest. <laughs> um, I'm prepared, I'll have you know. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and transfer you. Okay, so it kind of looks like this is still the same question mark. Huh. Okay, well let's uh let, let's go to my other account. So I don't remember how to get a nail pass. Hang on, hang on. Okay, that took me a little bit to figure out <laughs> what I was. I was like Googling like Neopass and stuff, and I just kept coming back in the FAQ. So the easiest way that I see to do it is to come over here, and I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I signed out, and then I went play Neopets and log in with Neopass. I'm still logged in with my Neopass on this browser, so I just went ahead and clicked my other account and hit continue. So, I mean, that's still not bad. Like, I'm not having to do a whole lot of stuff, but still... Um, okay, so, uh, uh-oh, do I have money? Oh, okay, I do, good. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from, but, okay, sure, except, um, oh, I didn't, oops, I didn't get that on my other account, dang it, well, I'm gonna, send <laughs> oops, I'm gonna have to send you back in a second, but, okay, well, it seems like transferring pets still seems the same, I mean, this is the old way of doing it, is there gonna be another way to do this? Huh, okay, well, Ooh, I guess we'll need to look into that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to throw this in here. Okay, so that's that's an update on all that. Um, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot, a lot. So let me know your thoughts on everything because I'm really curious. 
Um, do you are you going to sign up for Neopass? Do you think it's worth it? Um, it doesn't really bother me. I don't care either way. <laughs> I just don't give a shit. If I can get something free, that'd be cool. But I mean, meh, meh. I'm fine either way. Uh, but let me know your thoughts, especially on like the trading card game. Those code stones look real cute and I'm excited for the plushies, even though I complain. I'm sorry. I'm complaining. I'm just sensitive and a little bit hungry. So, you know, that's kind of how it goes. Um, I still don't have a, um, uh, an outro. Um, I'm going to Neo pass out. Whoosh. Edit something really cool with that. <laughs> um,